Aries, what's going on, Aries babies? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Miss Smooth, okay? With Miss Smooth's Motivational Tarot. Aries, I'm trying to open up this damn box. <laughs> Aries, what's going on? I hope everyone is doing good. Relax, keeping yourself high vibrational. And even if you have to go through the flow of crying a little bit or feeling a certain way, it will pass, okay? So, Spirit is definitely telling me to let you know that it will pass, okay? Damn, all the cards didn't want to go in. I'm not taking all those, Spirit. I'm not. I'm not. All right, so if this is your first time tuning into Miss Smooth's Motivational Tarot, Welcome, honey boo. Welcome, handsome. Thank you so much. Stopping through. Let me know if this message resonates with you and leave a comment and a like because I really appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. And I definitely will respond to you, okay? <clears throat> For those of you who've been rocking with me strong, I appreciate your love, likes, comments, testimonies, donations. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading a new video, okay? I don't mean the camera to jump. I'm sorry. Aries, other than that, I hope everyone is doing well. Somebody could have a cat or a cat spirit. It says, apathetic, disinterested, aloof, my way or the highway. I told y'all, some of y'all going to be feeling some kind of way. Let it pass. Who got you feeling some kind of way, Aries? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ancestors of my highest good and light, thank you so much for your divine protection. You are growing into a phoenix. That's why you feel like that I don't care attitude. Look at how these cards match. That's how you know this is you, Aries, a phoenix, okay? It says transformation, eternal soul, renewal, resurrection, a lot of transition for all the signs, especially with that new moon in Pisces, okay? I know, I know Aries, some of y'all on the cusp of Pisces and Aries, um, March 20th, okay? So you feeling some kind of way. <clears throat> About some kind, okay, so for my divine, divine feminists, this is definitely a, a man, okay? Um, explore, oh, a map, girl. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. I had a long day. I'm sorry. So, a map, find your way, locate, unknown destination, new territory, lay of the land. So, you're definitely going on a journey or you're going to find some new perspective as you go through this process of transformation, Okay. Thank you, ancestors of our highest good and light. Thank you so much for protecting, growing, and fertilizing um, Aries, okay? Spirit is telling you to drink lots more water. It's going to help you, nourish you, um, allow your emotions to flow through you. And it's also going to open up your consciousness to higher elevation. <clears throat> All right, Aries, let's see what Sarah wants to talk about. Let me cut this deck. This is an Oracle deck called Zodiac Intuit Oracle 108 card, Joe. For real, for real. Okay, but I love you guys. That's why I did it. I love giving y'all these messages. I love motivating you. I love being able to be here and let you know Miss Moo understands. And this is what Spirit has to say. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's see what spirit... Oh, at the bottom of the deck, what we got? Autumn. All right, Aries, so a lot of your transition will end around autumn season. I'm picking up full moon, the queen, within six to nine months. Spirit said, pull this card. I'm going to put this next to you, Aries, because spirit definitely wants that to be out here. Six to nine months. Can y'all see that? All right, six to nine months. I don't know what you're going through, but Spirit is definitely saying six to nine months, okay? And it has the number five on it, so that lets me know transition. See? 
That lets me know. Is that the number five? Yeah, that lets me know transition. <clears throat> okay, so let me go ahead and put this back. All right, so let's look at your focus energy. Three to six months, six to nine months. I'm sorry. I'll be all trying to make it different. Oh, see, that's how you know this is about you. Look what it say. Person of fire. This is about you and you right here. Look at your sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, fire sign. Okay. It says that um, you are a trendsetter. You're confident. You're a visionary. You're a catalyst. You're energetic. You're entrepreneur. You're sexy, outgoing, creative, ruthless, courageous, strong, and willed okay um you do best as a teacher actress entrepreneur or artist so if any of you develop any of those abilities three to six months you got something coming in three to six months when it pertains to your life purpose thank you spirit i love it that's the first time spirit actually give me a time frame so y'all make sure y'all come say this video in your little library and come back and comment when it happened, because you know you ain't going to do it before. Okay? Three to six months. That's what spirit is saying around autumn season. Somebody's name is Autumn. Okay? Autumn is an artist. Autumn is an actor. Somebody has the letter A in their name, or they're going to be meeting somebody with the letter A in their name. I'm also hearing Alex, A-L-E-X. Um, Alfonso, I'm hearing. Okay, um, Adam, A-D-A-M, Anna, okay, Spirit, <laughs> and Alice, I'm sorry. All right, Spirit, that's it. Don't be giving me no more names because everybody's going to be waiting for me to call a name that start with an A. <laughs> we don't even know if they watch it. Yo, it could be somebody three to six, I mean, nine, wait, three to six months, right, Spirit? Three to six months? Oh, I keep saying three to six months, and it's six to nine months. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> six to nine months from now, and it says the queen within. Hmm. So, you know... The queens of the zodiac, I'm sorry, the queens of the tarot, they're, they don't take action. They use their clarity, their intuition, their creativity. <clears throat> Somebody don't want me to talk right now, but I'm talking. Do not, do not do it. Hold on, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about that. My whole voice just got dry, and it was just like, ain't nothing else going to come out, okay? But that's a lie. I'm going to talk about it. So this is about you, okay? And Spirit is definitely wanting me to read all those things to let you know who the fuck you are. I don't know who fucked with you, um, Aries, but you don't listen to those naysayers, okay? Because you got something coming six to nine months, okay? Um... I'm feeling like somebody born in 1969 or 1996 can be significant, okay? <clears throat> and because the number five is here, it says six to nine months, but it definitely might be happen happening between, I would say, three to nine months. Three to nine, okay? But it could be six to nine, so, you know, just take it how it resonates. <clears throat> All right, so spirit is definitely wanting you to know that you are on the scene, number one, numero uno, I'm hearing. You got the number six, so you have the flag, okay? I'm feeling like this is somebody who's standing there taking, you know, you know, you take pride in who you are. Achievement, recognition, overthrow, success, victory, winner, conquest. Definitely going to be receiving some recognition within six to nine months ain't that the number six all right all right i told y'all i can't make this shit up all right <clears throat> um i'm also hearing somebody might be running in some type of um bodybuilding or um some type of race marathon i'm hearing a marathon okay 
Oh, see all these names. Jack and Diane. I can't make this. <laughs> who the fuck is Jack and Diane? Okay. I don't know who Jack and Diane is. I'm not trying to. Jack and Diane. So Jack or Diane. For you females, somebody with the name Jack. I don't know if it's a nickname, a first name, a last name. And Diane. These two right here. Whether you a male or a female, they saying they broke your heart. Heartbroken, interference, sorrow, grief, funk, sadness. Didn't I say who fucked with you? I told y'all. But Spirit is saying you got something coming through. So don't worry about Jack and Diane. <laughs> Yo, I can't, Spirit. Maybe you got cheated on by Jack and... Uh, <clears throat> Jack was dating Diane or vice versa, however you want to resonate. Or Jack met somebody named Diane or Diane met somebody named Jack. Mm. And this is unexpected, so maybe you don't know till now. Mm. Listen, you got some great things coming. You saw how I caught this card? Let's, let's, let's let that come out. Let's see what it's about, okay? Yeah, see, a cross. You're protected from this drama. Spirit is saying, don't worry about that. You're on a spiritual journey. You got some great things coming your way. It says, sacrifice, down for the cause, release, let go, giving up, surrender. That's right, lead them motherfuckers. Let that shit die. Put a cross on it. That's the spirit is saying. Ankh, whatever you want to call it. They're just saying, put all that on it, okay? That's why I was naming all those names. Alex, Alfonso. I don't know who it is, but one of y'all got hurt by Jack and Diane. <clears throat> and Spirit is telling you to put a cross on, on the, the betrayal. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Put a cross on it. Don't hold no vengeance. Don't hold... No, um, what's, I can't get my pen. Sorry. Spirit is saying, <clears throat> don't hold no vengeance in your heart. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. Cause it wasn't for you anyway. Spirit, what is your advice? What is your advice for Aries? Who playing my Aries? Aries, you know, you number one, right? You know, you number one. I don't, I don't even want you to let this phase you because Jack and Diane belong to each other. And you know what's so crazy? Spirit is saying they're going to do the same thing to each other that they did to you. And you got the number seven. See? What the hell is that? <laughs> Yo, I can't. I'm sorry, y'all. What is that? That looks like some scary shit. <clears throat> I'm thinking wait, hold up. Y'all y'all think I'm playing. Remember when I was thinking of the names and at the end spirit said Alice. Don't this look like that um rabbit from Alice in the Wonderland? Like, you know, <laughs> the rabbit hole. Oh my god. Like that movie um um Johnny Depp played in as, you know, with Alice in the Wonderland, yo. I'm telling you. So, definitely Alice. Okay, spark of curiosity. Um, it says, um, genosis, spiritual awakening. Exactly. That's why Spirit said, don't hold no vengeance in your heart. I can't make this shit up, yo. You're on a spiritual journey, okay? And Spirit is definitely saying, it's time to heed the call. Research your inner knowing, dark to light, going down a rabbit hole, okay, waking from a dream, okay, this person was an illusion, they was not real, Alice, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, you definitely have a uh, fishing pole, so I feel like you're definitely going to be catching some fish, um, it does say fishing pole, self-reliance, extending oneself, 
um, mentoring others, poetry in motion, exploration, providing connect with nature accomplishments, reflection, self-improvement, and capable. Okay, so this journey that you're going on is going to help you really depend on yourself, find yourself and see really what you are built for. Okay, and that's why this situation couldn't continue. All right, so I'm about to pull some tarot <clears throat> so we could get some clarity. All right, Alice. <laughs> I don't know who this girl is, but Alice, you came up in my reading strong. So spirit got they eye on you, okay? All of you, all right? Alice the Aries. All right, so let's go ahead and pull it. Um, I'm trying to decide. Spirit, which one should I use? Oh, okay, fine. Spirit say use. I'm using this new tarot deck that I got. It's called um, Housewives Tarot. It's so cute. It's cute. I like, it's like my Pulp Fiction one. But I like these tarots. I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Somebody don't want me to talk, but I'm going to talk. All right. You definitely have the five of pentacles. Yep. Abandoned, lost, feeling. Actually, you the one left. That's what I'm hearing. You left. You started eyeballing shit and realizing this is not enough. This is not going to work. <laughs> they was cheating, but you the one who left. Like, I ain't got time for this shit. I'm waving my flag. I'm out this bitch. Okay, Alice. I don't want y'all to think this is specific because it's not just for Alice. But Alice did come out and the rabbit is here to confirm it. You got the three of cups. I told you. Some type of um, third party interference. <clears throat> All right. And I don't know. We're going to shuffle one more time because that third party still there. But you're going on this journey. Very necessary journey to get clarity with the hermit. Okay. Spending time alone. Thank you, Spirit. Let me go ahead and cut this deck. That was different, but okay. And Spirit says you have the Six of Cups. I told you people from your past. All right. Look at her. <laughs> she like, I don't know about you, but I'm drinking from my own cup. <laughs> I think that's Alice. Alice is like, that's all right. I could drink from my own cup. I could provide my own love to myself. You know your worth, Alice. Congratulations. Okay? All right. Let's talk about it. So can we... Uh-uh. Don't start all that craziness now. Let's do it right. Okay? We have the Ten of Motherfucking Swords. You see? <clears throat> So, I feel like with the Ten of Swords, this is definitely you. Um, you've been poked, picked, and uh, popped. Poked, picked, and popped. And you've had enough, okay? Um, you really did care about this person. And with this here, um, Person of Fire... I feel like Spirit is definitely saying to you, you know, that with the Ten of Swords, um, you've had enough. <clears throat> you've had enough. You're not going to keep stabbing me in my back. You're not going to keep playing me. Okay? Like I'm a pen cushion. Spirit, thank you. That's a lot, Spirit. <laughs> okay? That's a lot. <clears throat> So you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles, and you have the Eight of Swords, okay? Yeah, so you were stuck in a in the middle of a very toxic situation, okay? Right? You over here, you over here trying to hold everybody up. You over here trying to hold shit up, not realizing that everybody's standing on top of you. 
and you're not a pincushion. You're not going to continue to keep letting people poke you, pop you, or push you. Okay? And this 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 King of Pentacles really thought he had it in the bag. He thought he had everything straightened out. He thought he was in control of every situation. Okay? Lawn, mowing the lawn. That's what I'm hearing. He thought he was mowing the lawn, taking care of everything and anything. All right? And this had you in this position of feeling stuck with the Eight of Swords. All right? And Spirit is saying that this is how they had you doing all the work, holding everybody up, putting everything together, fixing things. You're in a relationship where you kept feeling like you had to fix it. And it was not able to be fixed. <clears throat> Spirit said, don't close that up because we're going to come back to that. Got you. Let's talk about your focus energy. So you waved your flag. You said, I had enough. I'm done. All right. I know my worth. And that was when you, you got an upgrade. As soon as you decided, you walked away. Took your confidence. Took your dignity. And said, I'm done. I'm about to go and do what I got to do for me. Okay. Look, you got the Knight of Cups, exactly, and the Emperor. What the fuck I say? Strategically realizing who the fuck you are, Aries. Okay? Here you are as the Emperor. Okay? Here you are with this achievement. Okay? And here you are pouring into your own motherfucking cup. Balance. Leave that, leave that person over there to drink out their own cup. Matter of fact, you got somebody who got their eye on you anyway. Just waiting for you to end something that that's no good for you, okay? And in order to do that, you got to know who you are. Stand in your purpose, okay? Know that you don't depend on other people to fill your own cup. You fill your own cup. You feel me? <clears throat> and I feel like that's what Spirit is trying to advise you to do. Walk in love, but love yourself first, Okay? You ain't got to do all that. Let's clarify this uh, Knight of Cups, right? I'm, I said King of Cups. That's the Knight of Cups, all right? So with the Knight of Cups, you're charming. Um, you, you're enjoying life, okay? You're strategically trying to figure out how um, to obtain this these opportunities of feeling good you know you feeling good despite the shit that you just came out of or the shit that's going on around you it doesn't affect you it hurts yes but it doesn't deplete you of who you are and i think you realize that and somebody somebody got their eye on you Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Spirit, what's the Knight of Cups about for Aries? What's the Knight of Cups as their focus energy? Who is this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight of Cups about? Please and thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Spirit. So we have the Magician and we have the Fool. Didn't I say somebody got their eye on you? All right. You definitely going on a path, a new journey that's going to allow you to bring your dreams into reality. It's going to fulfill you. It's going to show you who the fuck you really are, what you're capable of. You got the emperor and you got the magician, okay? So I definitely feel like you're you're learning how to invest um and to emotionally uh enjoy life, right? on this journey learn about who you are with the magician okay and strategically go about doing this all right moving yourself away from things that no longer serve you okay let's talk about jack and diane this is unexpected <clears throat> it's broken heart okay dang spirit yeah see you have the Four of Swords. I can't make this shit up. So you're definitely going to be healing from this situation. Okay? Spirit is saying that this is very necessary in order for you to continue on this journey. All right? So let's talk about the Four of Swords. All right? 
Spirit, can we clarify the Four of Swords, please? And thank you. As unexpected energy for the collective Aries. Making decisions. So see, Seven of Swords. Um, more strategic, more trickery. I think you're definitely going to just be looking at the deception. Like, how dare you? Like, how could you? Like, you're going to have your face mask on with your cucumber eyes, and you're going to be, like, having third-party conversations to go through the process, right? Trying to be up in your head and decipher and slice out the things that people told you, the lies. That's what I'm hearing, the fucking lies. <laughs> OMG, yo. All right. The lies with my pen. <clears throat> okay. It's the lies that, 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 that got you. Like, you got to lie about it, seriously? Who you think who you think you lying to? That's how she look. Like, are y'all seriously going to talk about me? Like, I don't know. You think I don't know? I'm an Aries. I know. I know who's for me. But I'm going to sit back and see how long y'all going to think that I'm dumb and don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Can we clarify things, Spirit? That's too much. That's too much. I'm not taking all of those. Sorry. Can we clarify the seven of swords? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said so you're gonna take it whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right, so we have the Page of Cups and we have the Nine of Cups, okay? This person, you really cared about them. You really thought y'all had something and y'all was growing, okay? There's a lot of times y'all spent a lot of... Um, a lot of holidays together and stuff, but it, it's just not... You're not their wish fulfillment, all right? I feel like with Jack and Diane... You're really going to be healing from all of this. All right? <clears throat> I don't even know why Jack and Diane is out here. Like, those were specific spirit. That is a specific person, two people, okay? And I feel like you're going to be healing from the deception that's going on. But what you don't see is that you're going to have somebody who's interested in you. And I saw that earlier with the Knight of Cups right here. Somebody that wants you, that's single like you, no drama, no bullshit, okay? When you're ready, you got to do the healing first. Didn't I tell you? On this journey, you have to do the healing, especially with the full card and the emperor and the magician. <clears throat> you cannot bring your dreams into reality until you empty out the toxicity that these two motherfuckers left behind. Okay, and so that's why you have to go on this journey to heal, and you will have to think about the lies. Okay, it's the lies for me, right? Because it was just dumb. But you do have new love coming in, you do have somebody that definitely is interested in you while you go down this spiritual journey. Okay. And so that's why spirit is telling you don't have vengeance, okay? Don't be cross. That's what I'm hearing. Like how the Jamaicans say, don't be cross, okay? Don't be cross. All right? It wasn't right. But when somebody treats you like that, that lets you know that person is not for you no matter how much you love them. Because they are not going to continue to support you to be the better version of you. Okay? So why deal with somebody like that? Why? All right? Let's talk about advice from spirits. Spirit said, don't be cross, okay? <clears throat> Look, the Ten of Pentacles, that's why. Because when you let people get into your vibration, they stop your money flow. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have your ultimate happiness coming towards you. This person was just not blessed enough to deal and go through it with you. They're not blessed enough to experience this abundance with you. Spirit got somebody else in mind, okay? All right, let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, can we clarify the Ten of Pentacles? Thank you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's try to put this back there. All right, so we definitely have the Seven of Pentacles, didn't I say? Sitting back, enjoying your abundance, okay? And getting this Ace of Pentacles, a new offer from Spirit. 
I mean, I don't know how many people got a glove and a dish and a hand. That's the star of David. So somebody's name might be David. Okay. The spirit is definitely saying that you're going to receive this legacy. And your ancestors is backing you up. Your spirit guys got your back. You're divinely protected from this bullshit. <clears throat> Any other things you want to say to the collective Aries? Please and thank you, spirit. When it comes to advice about this Ten of Pentacles, this legacy, this offer, the Seven of Pentacles. You got a lot of Pentacles, y'all. You about to mm, live it up, yo. And you got the wish, you got the nine of cups and the page of cups. Okay. I can't make this shit up. Oh, spirit. That's a lie. Damn. <laughs> All right. Stop falling. <laughs> Let me hurry up with your reading. What time is it? Oh, we already had 30 minutes. So you follow me. Hurry up. All right. So you definitely look. You have the king of cups. And remember, I was calling him earlier, the Knight of Cups. So you go from the Knight to the King, all right? You get that balanced energy. You got the Page of Swords, which means that you're going to see something that is really fun and adventurous and an opportunity for you to learn. And then you got the Five of Pentacles that came back out. So you're definitely loving on yourself, balancing yourself out, making better decisions when it comes to your abundance, when it comes to your energy and your time, okay? But let's clarify the five of pentacles because you got all these other pentacles. And I feel like Spirit is saying that as you go down this journey, you're definitely going to get a lot of clarity and understanding. And this is the seven of cups. You're going to get options, okay? Yeah, you're going to get options. Options to do what, Spirit? Options to do what? Go down this rabbit hole and find out what works for you with the number seven. All right? You're about to go on a journey that is like no other. <laughs> You're going to meet a lot of different people. Okay? You're no longer an option. You're in a position to choose what you want. All right? <clears throat> okay? And so Spirit said, as you go down this rabbit hole, figuring out what works for you, time is on your side, but time is ticking, all right? Spirit is saying, definitely balance yourself out, all right? And learn that your past is no longer good for you. And then you have the Five of Cups. Didn't I just say your past is no longer good for you? Exactly. So Spirit is definitely telling you with temperance, you're divinely protected from your past. And to realize that your past is no longer good for you. All right? Let's clarify this rabbit hole. Some of you could have a rabbit tattoo. <clears throat> if you fall one more time, okay? Three to six months, autumn. All right, so Spirit is saying the Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Five of Swords, see? All right, yeah, you're not going down that rabbit hole. That's your potential outcome. Learning how what's for you and what's not for you. You're divinely protected. Spirit is saying really take a look at if this person is for you or they coming in snipping away at your energy, okay? And so you're like, nope, I'm reserving my energy because I learned my lessons from the past, all right? I'll be damned if you put me in that energy again with the Five of Cups. You must be kidding. I am the one who chooses. Nobody chooses me. Let's go, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Swords. Didn't I say? You're in a position to choose who you want. Nobody chooses you. You choose people. I love it. 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 All right? <clears throat> Spirit, what Oracle card? Thank you. Spirit say use. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, thank you. I'm going to pull... I'm sorry, y'all. I don't mean to yawn. I'm tired. I'm going to pull an oracle card from the spirit animal. And see what spirit animal you should embody as you go on this journey. All right? Because you got a lot of great things coming. That's why I always tell y'all, when you get something, it always requires a sacrifice. When we find out what the sacrifice is, it's hard. Because it's like, damn. But... 
it's really not hard. Why you want somebody on your team that be snipping away at you? Didn't we see that? Yeah. Why you want somebody on your team that be snipping away at you with the five of swords? Okay. Please. I don't want that. <clears throat> Trying to pick fights. You know what I'm saying? Messing with your clarity. Messing with your mental. Because swords is all about your mental. Spirit, these cards are so hard. And I don't know why. It's like I got to work with them a couple of times. And then they start easing up. Gosh. Stop. Thank you. I like that. That was decent. One more time, y'all. And I'm going to close this reading out. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I almost dropped the whole deck. Told you, these cards is like, you got to fight with them. It's a whole bunch of animals in here. All right, let me cut the deck and stop messing with y'all. Aries, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If y'all do, please leave a comment, okay? Because it helps the channel. And it definitely helps me connect with you, all right? <clears throat> all right, so let's see. Spirit, what spirit animal do you want Aries to embody as they go on this new journey? Journey, journey. As they go on this new journey. Thank you, Spirit. These cars is crazy, but I like them. All right, Spirit. Oh, that's too much. I'm not picking all of those. I just need one for the collective Aries. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Aries, don't worry because you know who you are. I told you I'm not taking all those spirit. I just want one. I don't have no, please. Just one, please. <clears throat> and they so big. I'm about to pick. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. I like when y'all pop, but I'm not doing all that, sir. I'm not. Come on now. One minute you pop, and the next minute y'all feel like chalkboard. I'm about to pick one more time. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I was about to sit. <laughs> one second. Let me put the rest away so I can get to it. So we can close this out. Okay? I ain't trying to keep y'all all night. Thank you, Aries, for your patience with me and Spirit. We be going through it. We be conversating. We be talking about it. Okay? And mm, mm, mm. what the fuck? You a wasp? Oh lord! <laughs> oh lord! So, like I said, the number sixty-four could be very significant. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, the number sixty-four. You a wasp? After you come out of this situation, um, it says that. Um, what? Sometimes life strings. I don't even understand that. Is that a complete sentence, Spirit? I don't even understand. Do y'all see what that says? Sometimes <laughs> life strings. Oh, somebody is pulling on your heartstrings? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Okay, Spirit. 64. When I think of the wasp, I think of, you know, you could, you could get stung, okay? You could get stung. I don't think wasps just go around trying to hurt people, but if you fuck with them, it's a done deal, yo. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get stung, okay? Spirit be having me do some stuff, yo. I be like, the wasp? Really, spirit? After all of that? Love. <clears throat> All right, so I'm here. Let me read this real quick, and I'm going to hold y'all book up, um, y'all card up, okay? Oh, no, I'm not holding it up. Spirit said, you got stuff. Stop acting like you ain't got nothing. <laughs> hold on, y'all. Yeah, we're going to sit you right here. Nice and pretty wasp. We don't need to hold the wasp. Mm-mm. Okay. All right, so spirit said, wasp spirit, sometime life strings, okay? It says, um, not all 
It says, not all that spirit creates in nature is easy to love. Wow. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Um, it says, we recognize that even though sometimes life stings. Is that stings? Oh, I thought it says strings. Okay. So sometimes life strings. Um, life stings. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes life stings. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So sometimes you're going to get hurt, Aries. That's what I was like, what? What are you talking about, spirit? <laughs> I have to laugh with you guys because I don't want you to be hung up on Jack and Diane. Okay? Ain't that the, they name? Yeah. Don't be hung up on Jack and Diane. Okay? <clears throat> spirit is saying that... um. Sometimes life stings. There is a purpose for the pain, just as there is a purpose for the wasp in the natural world. Wasps keep um, insects population down, supporting the growth of plants. So uh, to the sting of life may hurt and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful. Didn't I tell y'all earlier, don't? Spirit was saying, don't be vengeful, okay? Because you got those Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Like, all this great stuff coming your way because you are, you know, important, even if it don't seem like it at the moment because you're going through all this pain, all right? Spirit is saying that, you know, even though you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful that the wasp spirit has shown up, but you will soon come to see that spirit has something wonderful in store for you. All right, Aries, told you, boo boo, handsome, sexy, sweetheart, honey boo, okay? And spirit is saying you may well come to realize that being stung led to something far fucking better than you have ever env envisioned for yourself, okay? Perhaps behind the scenes, while spirit was uh, conspiring with spirit to ensure that you could grow something of value to you. See, that's why I was telling y'all, like, spirit was watching them while they was watching you thinking you doing all the work and little did they know that everything was a setup okay oh i don't know who you are but you gotta go <laughs> okay um so lord jesus give me some strength all right so um <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes when I do the readings, I get other energies that show up. And it just throws me off for a second. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's finish a reading so I can close. Thank you, um, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors of my highest light and good. Okay. So, um... Spirit is definitely letting you know that it was part of its plan to have you go through this pain and hurt. So it could help you grow and it could balance you out and put you on the road to happiness, success, and fulfillment. Okay? Um, and so sometimes, you know, that's why you don't hold no vengeance when people hurt you because they not for you. Okay? They was only for a season. Okay? Okay? Um, Spirit is definitely letting you know that um, they have a plan and a wasp spirit plays a big part in it, okay? Have you ever looked back and been glad your prayers weren't answered because the path you took led to something far better? That's the wasp spirit. It resembles and reminds to reflect on those times uh, for today's thing may hurt but something far better awaits you. Mm, 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 mm. That that that's a a message in itself, you know. Okay, yeah, three to six. I mean, six to nine months. Okay, six to nine months. Um, the sting today is preparing you for what? 
the the healing for tomorrow. I don't know the rewards for tomorrow, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so whatever hurt you have today, it's not as big and better as what you have for tomorrow. What you have in the near future. That one is blowing. Let me hurry up. So your protection message, it says, are you holding on to anger, jealousy, or resentment because you got stung? Or could you have just stung yourself by comparing yourself to others? Um, there will always be someone who is more successful, happier. And I think that's why when this is here, right, you was looking at it like, you know, they over there having a good old time, loving on they self. Let me hurry up because my camera dying and I ain't even see that, y'all. I'm so sorry. Thank you, spirit. I felt something. I was like, what's going on? Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I need you to light up. All right? I need you to light up. <laughs> All right? Thank you. So, um, let me hurry up and close your reading because it's already going on 45 minutes. All right, so spirit is basically just letting you know um, there will always be someone who is more successful, happier, thinner, richer than you. Jealousy is false belief that you can't have what you want or someone could take away something that belongs to you. Um, and it says that let it go and release all those feelings that are making the sting hurt because you keep repeating the cycle in your head. You keep reliving the hurt and you can't heal like that. OK, you got to let that shit go. And it's not going to happen quickly. That's why spirit is saying in order all as well. That's when you're going to feel like, you know, you have a brand new start right now. You might be going through it, but spirit is definitely telling you to mother on yourself. That's why it says the queen within. Okay, to mother on yourself. Okay, the empress, the emperor. All right, spirit is definitely saying to you that you know, um, align with spirit now and trust that this too shall pass, and it's already doing so. That's why you're here watching me. Okay, because I'm here to encourage and motivate you because I want you to win. You are a winner. No matter how people see you or no matter how people treat you, you are a winner, Aries. Okay, um, and it says that all the pain will subside when you stop telling the story of how much it hurt and start telling the story of how much it was a blessing for you to go down this path to receive all this rewards that spirit has for you especially with um the ten of pentacles okay look what your ancestors and spirit have for you that's the first two cards that came out under um advice for spirit spirit says i have something wonderful you better than you could ever imagine if you only trust me okay if you will only trust me i'm gonna pull one more one more spirit said pull one more um what is this? Um, <clears throat> let me move you back a little. All right. So I got this from um, Esther and Jerry Hicks. This would really help you. They have YouTube shows and stuff that you should watch. But it says ask and it is given. Okay, that's why when you ask for something, even if it doesn't work out with the person you thought it was going to work out with, it doesn't mean that spirit doesn't have it for you. It's already given as soon as you ask. Okay, if I could just open up the deck. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me shuffle real quick and then I'm going to close this out because I kept y'all for a while. But it was very necessary because I feel like you've been hurt. Okay. And you going through it right now. And I don't want you to feel like you all alone. Like nobody don't care about you. All right. And sometimes you can't discuss things with people because they be like, I told you so. All right. Let me shuffle one more time. All right. Don't worry about Jack and Diane. <laughs> Alice. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let me, um, I'm trying to do it right, Spirit. I'm trying to do it right. Spirit said, just cut it in half. You ain't got to do all that. Oh, look, I like these two that came out, so I'm going to pick them because I feel good about them. Oh, 
sorry y'all give me one second i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying all right so the first one comes out is the dove i will never cease being or desisting de desiring okay i will never cease being or desiring okay spirit is saying they don't deplete you of how good you look Okay, just because somebody don't want you don't mean you're less than. Actually, you are a rare jewel. Okay, and it's not anybody can't deal with you. The other one says, but what about those innocent little babies? What? Okay, let's talk about it. So the first one says, um, you know, I will never cease being or desiring okay so i think you just want spirit to show you how much you're loved and spirit is definitely going to be doing that for you within these next three to nine months okay it says you will never cease to be new desires will be constantly born within you source will never stop answering your desires your your prayers or your questions and your expansion is therefore eternal because you are eternal boo boo and so you may begin to relax if in the moment there is something you desire that has not um yet come to fruition okay spirit is saying don't worry be happy because those things are coming to you trust and believe okay and this one says, but what about those innocent little babies? I don't know what spirit talking about. <gasps> oh. Wow. This is only for someone. And it could be Alice. I don't know. But I feel like Alice, once you realize that you were cheated on, how far along it was going on you found out after the breakup that you were pregnant and you had an abortion even your babies are suffering vibration that the universe is matching and like you your little ones are influenced by the vibration of those no spirit don't do it to me let me hurry up y'all okay let me hurry up because this is important you see how i was trying to cut off all right it says influenced by the vibrations of those who surround them but nevertheless they are creating their own reality and like you long before their physical birth they set into motion this life experience they are now living okay so I feel like spirit is saying for someone in this reading, um, if you had an abortion, this is a no judgment zone. Everybody's been through stuff. If anything, this is where we love on you in the Mood Tribe family, okay? And I don't want you to be afraid to say, that's me. Um, <clears throat> you could even send me an email. Um, it's all my information is in the description box, okay? If you don't want nobody to know your business. But I send light, love, and peace towards you and healing. I feel you right now. And you're going to make me cry. And I can't stay too long because it's already 50-something minutes, okay? But this needed to come out. And I was wondering. But that's why the dove is here, okay? Because there's peace. You are forgiven. There's no judgment zone. Things happen for a reason. And you know, you just need to learn how to heal, okay? Your body, your mind, and your soul. And trust that spirit will bring those things back to you because decisions was made out of hurt and pain. And that's why they're telling you about, you know, don't worry about the little babies, okay? Because they were innocent in the situation, but they feel the vibration, okay? And so Spirit is saying they are creating their own reality. So trust that they have another assignment, baby, okay? Trust, honey boo. And this is male or female. A male could be with a female and she decides to go and have an abortion on him um, because she didn't want to carry his baby to go be with somebody else. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But that's what I'm picking up. That's deep, yo. That's really deep. Okay? That's really deep. Okay? 
So I hope this resonated with you guys, Aries. This was a very long reading, but it was very intense and very personal. I love you. Namaste.